A big thank you to Fine Fine who reached out to the channel and gave us the opportunity to review the Fine Fine K6 microphone. If you want to check out any more of the Fine Fine products, they do microphones, they do mixers and amplifiers as well. Their link will be in the description down below. And this is what you get in the Fine Fine box. We get a little note just saying thank you for being a valued customer. It's got links to their Facebook and it's got an email account on there as well, as well as a website. We've got the user guide for the K6 microphone. Basically it tells you how to turn it on and off. It's got a high sensitivity capsule. It's got an XLR port on there and you get the audio cable as well. And you can easily get a two year extended warranty as well with online registration within 90 days of purchase. Bit of information on the back on how to set the microphone up as well. And on this cable, you've got XLR on the one side and you've got a quarter inch jack on the other. So it's 6.35 millimeter. So there's the microphone. There's, there's a bit of weight in the microphone. I was expecting it to be a little bit lighter considering the cost of the microphone. You've got the metal head on there. You can unscrew the microphone. So I'll quickly unscrew it. There's the capsule there. So you've got your off and on on the front of the microphone and you have an XLR connection on the bottom as well. So the features of this microphone, it's a dynamic vocal microphone. It's got a cardioid pickup pattern. It's got high gain output, low impedance design, ideal for vocal and presentations and it's made from zinc alloy. So the manual says it is a dynamic microphone, says it's robust, it is resistant to moisture and can achieve high gain before feedback as well. So let's put this microphone to the test and see how it performs. Right, so what we'll do is we'll put the Fine Fine microphone, the K6, to the test. It's gonna be up against my Sennheiser, What's the name of it? It's a Sennheiser E815S. So the Sennheiser microphone, I believe it was in around the £100 mark when I bought it, but that was quite a few years ago. This microphone is £20, so you would expect roughly around five times as much quality as this one, but let's see. So what I'll do is I'll do some recordings using Audacity to begin with. Basically, we've got a news article here to do with Game of Thrones. So what I'll do is I'll read the same paragraph out on the Sennheiser microphone and on the Fine Fine microphone as well. Game of Thrones has received a record-breaking 32 Emmy Award nominations, beating the drama series record set by NYPD Blue in 1994. Game of Thrones has received a record-breaking 32 Emmy Award nominations, beating the drama series record set by NYPD Blue in 1994. Okay, so from after that first test, I am really, really surprised by how well this K6 has just performed. We're using the same settings on the mixing desk as well, so there's been no change on the desk at all between the K6 and the Sennheiser microphone. So this is a test using the K6 microphone. And this is going to be the same test using the Sennheiser microphone. So that gives you a bit of an idea with the sound difference when it comes to playing a musical instrument with the microphone. And we're going to do some general chatting with the microphones now. This is the Sennheiser microphone. It's approximately probably three, four inches away from my mouth. So this is the kind of audio you can expect from the Sennheiser microphone. And we're just generally chatting with the K6 microphone now. Once again, this is around three, four inches away from my mouth. Can we notice any sound difference between this microphone, which is the K6, and the Sennheiser microphone? I mean, it's all well and good me doing tests in Audacity, but really what we need to do is we need to test it in a live environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go live on Twitch. This is the K6 fine foreign microphone. What do you think of the quality on this microphone? Can you tell any difference between this one and my Sennheiser microphone that I usually use when I stream? The sound quality is really good. Fine, fine. It's looking good. We've got ourselves a thumbs up here. Dang. It makes me sound a bit more masculine. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I think the quality is really good, so it's worth £20. That's what we were saying. Because to be honest, if I was going to buy an XLR microphone, this looks like a really good shout. 
Let's do a switcheroonie now. Let's go to the Sennheiser and see what this sounds like. You think it's slightly less clear? You think the Sennheiser is less clear than the Fine Fine microphone? This sounds kind of blurry. How about if I talk directly into the microphone? Does that make things better? It's worse when I'm next to the microphone. What about if I'm kind of this distance away? So I'm probably... I don't know, probably about 10 inches away from the microphone now. It's quiet now. Okay. Switch again! <laughs> Okay, so we switch back over to the K6 microphone now. This one is crisper. That is surprising to be fair, considering this is a lot more expensive and that one is literally £20. Really, really impressed with this at the moment. So if we do a really quick compare on these microphones, so there's the Fine Fine microphone and there is a Sennheiser E815S microphone. There's more weight in the Sennheiser microphone, but it is a £100 microphone. Well, it's probably not £100 now because, like I say, it's a few years old. You probably can't even get this microphone anymore. But there is more weight in this microphone. There's quite a bit of weight in this one as well, just not as much as this one. They're both XLR microphones. They both have the little switch on the front to turn them on and off. They both got the metal tops on there as well. If anything, I prefer the look of the Fine Fine microphone just for the top. It looks more rounded, whereas this looks slightly bumpy if that makes sense around the sides so looks wise i do prefer this fine fine microphone okay i'm impressed not even a little bit impressed i'm overblown for 20 pound i'm gonna go out on a limb here and say you are not gonna get a microphone for 20 pound that performs better than this microphone it comes with a 14.8 foot cable as well so there's plenty of length on this lead so we've put this k6 microphone to the test against the sennheiser microphone which was pretty much five times as expensive as this microphone and to be honest this has performed on par if not better than that microphone for 20 pounds you'd be a fool not to get hold of one of these if i was on a very very tight budget i've got no problem recommending this microphone it is absolutely awesome and the star rating for the Fine Fine K6 XLR microphone will be 10 stars out of 10. If you like the content that's being created on this channel, please hit the subscribe button. You'll find it in the bottom right of each of the videos.